Back in 2008, the board at Ewa Park thought they could make lightning strike twice by appointing another ex-Manchester United player to become manager. However, they could not be further from the mark. This appointment was Paul, dare I say it, Ince. What a horrific appointment this turned out to be. Despite performing so well in his first managerial job at MK Dons, Rovers in the Premier League were not a good fit for the ex-Inter Milan midfielder. And despite the hoo-ha when he arrived, Ince was shown the door before the end of the year in his first season at Blackburn. Ince had failed as a Rovers manager. But time can heal most things. What would happen with Ince in charge today? Can he manage Rovers in the third tier? Will his experience at lower league management help him get it right this time at Ewood Park? Second chance for Loon for NC Boy, let's take a look. Hello right, folks, welcome back to another Blackburn Rovers managerial experiment with Football Manager 2018. In this episode, we are going to simulate the 2017-2018 season with Paul Ince in charge. Does anybody remember him in charge? Gosh, days were so grim times. Let's take a look at it and show you what I am talking about. Paul Ince, there he is, head coach at Blackburn Rovers, currently on six grand a week. Daylight robbery, uh, just shy of two stars. Um, so, how is he going to fare? He didn't, he didn't do too good as manager in the real world. Um, you know, he had to follow... Who did he have to follow? I think he had to follow Mark Hughes. But anyway, he's back in charge, folks. He's back in charge. So hold on to your hats and glasses and see how well Blackburn Rovers do with Paul Ince in charge. So let's simulate till the end of the season and see how well he's done. Okay, folks, here we are at the end of the season, 31st of May, 2018. And let's just bring him up and see how well... In fact, let's bring up Blackburn Rovers, see how well they do. And then you can instantly tell how well they've done so they are first blackburn rovers are first however well 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 we have a new man in charge stuart mccall golly so what went wrong what went wrong indeed i don't even know how to do this compared to the rest of them anyway let's just take a look at uh, head coaches so paul ince lasted 208 days he was sacked in january um phil neville came in um, for just seven days and then Stuart McCall finished the job off so around about January so let's take a look at the squad and where were we in Jan I don't know probably around about here maybe we've dropped a fourth so he was, it looked like he was doing all right for Rovers um I, I I've, I've gone very quick I haven't looked at the points tally but Started off okay, did top the pops here, around by match five, and tailed off into second, so he, he was doing alright. So I've got to give him a little bit of credit. Anyway, let's take a look at the uh, the tally there. 83 points. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do this. I'm just going to put in uh, sacked. Sacked on my on my board there. So he is now the new, the new, um, we'll put sacked January. But... Stuart McCall finished the season off with 83 points. So if if he had continued on, he would have been in the likes of pretty much Sam Allardyce land. Uh, but anyway, let's take a look at the Rovers uh, team. Um, and first and foremost, let's take a look at the transfer dealings. So four players were brought in. Uh, two were brought in by Paul Lintz, Victor Anichibi and Kevin Wilson. Whoever, or Kelvin Wilson. That's a strange one. Kelvin Wilson was brought in. No real... Game time. Looks like he's more brought in as assistant coach. Victor needs to be come in. Ugh, horrible, horrible statistics. Just the one appearance, one goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fusen Diabete was brought in by uh, Stuart McCall. Not bad, 7.11. And Chris Stokes was brought in left back. Um, just the one appearance. As for players going out, there's a few few names here Conway was let go to Dundee 100 grand That's probably about right Dominic Samuel was let go uh, to Preston uh, not bad return I guess in the championship so it's a, it's a step up for the lad didn't really get any game time at Rovers um, you know I'm not I'm not going to complain about that one Paul Caddis also went to Dundee so similar deals to some of the other game saves or experiments that we've done I've noticed that uh, Doyle, uh, uh, Caddis and Conway have gone to Dundee a couple of times 
So, let's take a look at this bizarre season with Ince and McCall in charge. Uh, top of the pops, uh, David Ryan made 57 appearances, Paul Downey made 52, Small with 51, uh, Chapman with 47, and Elliot Bennett with 45. Top goal scorer. Bradley Dack with 14 goals. Uh, Elliot Benniston second with 10. Dig G is in there third with 9. Antonson and Adam Armstrong uh, joint fourth, fifth with 8 goals. As for the assists, uh, Bradley Dack uh, 14. Elliot Bennett with 12. Chapman 9. Graham with 6. And Charlie Morgan's in there with 5. But how does that rank with the players uh, in the rest of the division? Charlie White tops the goal scoring charts with 21 goals. Will Grigg in second with 20. Uh, Ewan Doyle's in there with third. David Bell. Uh, is in fourth. Omar Boggle, uh, uh, is he on loan or is he there on deal? He is on loan from Cardiff uh, with 17 goals. So the, the highest Blackburn Rovers player is in joint 14th, and that is Bradley Dagg. Let's take a look if I can get there. The assists, there they are. Jake Forster, Kasky, tops the assists, 17 assists. Richie Tao, second, 16. Anthony Grant in third with 15. Uh, Alex Gibley is in fourth, 13. Billy Bingham. As in fifth with 12, highest assist maker is Bradley Dack in there with seven. As for the best player, I just saw it. Uh, let's back it up. Makes it a little easier if I go this way. Will Grigg tops the uh, tally 7.30. Anthony Grant second, 7.23. Richie Tao third, 7.22. Reese James in fourth, 7.19. But Elliot Bennett is there, 7.18 in fifth place. Let's go around. In fact, let's have a quick, quick glance at the... Uh, the cup situation. Well, we did pick up the checker trade trophy. Um, I didn't. I have not looked at everyone's checker trade trophy or the fixtures, uh, but Blackburn was picking it up with a day out at Wembley. Let's have a look. Fifty-three thousand attendance. Uh, Twenty-five thousand of those were Oxford fans. So a good turnout by Rovers. Um, yeah, let's have a let's go back actually. Who plays in this game? Does he rotate it? A couple of youngsters in there. Platt, Travis. Does rotate a little bit. Pretty strong side. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where did I go? Uh, FA Cup. Uh, first round, they beat Limington. Second round. Third round got knocked out by Arsenal. We don't really want to. That's, that's pretty heavy beat. Heavy defeat. Uh, League One. Uh, where's the League Cup? Cabrera Cup. Lost uh, to Crew on penalties. So let's go around the grounds or around the uh, leagues and see what went on. Um in the other divisions. Man United finished top of the Pops, 90 points. Man City in second, 83. Uh, Liverpool and Arsenal make it the top four. As for Burnley, scumbags, seventh place. Uh, so that's ahead of the likes of Newcastle, West Ham. As for the bottom, Stoke, Swansea and Crystal Palace are relegated to the Championship. And into the Championship we go. Uh, looks like Wolves top the table with 87 points. Ipswich there in second with 84. Hull in their third place, 78. Uh, they actually squeeze through the black girl of the playoffs. Barnsley, Brentford and Burton are the three Bs that get relegated. As for the Championship, we know that Blackman squeezed in there with Stuart McCall taking over the reins from Paul Ince. Wigan are in second with 80 points. Blackpool squeezed in there in th uh, through the back door of the playoffs. Let me just have a look at this. Make sure GB is the man pulling the strings. Head coach is Gary Bowie. Look at that. Well done. As for relegated, Gillingham Berry and Rochdale will be playing. Uh, and Plymouth will be playing League 2 football next season. As for League 2, Lincoln, top of the table, 91 points. Cheltenham's in there second. Uh, Notts County equal. Well, they're not equal, but they're also going up. 74 points in third place. Morecambe squeezed through uh, the playoffs. Uh, Crew and Chesterfield will be playing non-league football next season. So a bit of a bizarre one, this one, in this experiment series. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to go way back to, I think, the days of Mark Hughes. That's right. So he will be in the next episode. See how well he does with his vast knowledge of football managerial ship. Can he do it at League One level with his old club, Blackburn Rovers? So stick around for that one.